Hello, my name is Joe Diaz. I'm part owner of a sign shop and design firm called Diaz Sign Art. I'd like to walk you through a typical vehicle job that we see at our shop. Great vehicle advertising can live or die depending on the strength of the brand being used. So I can't do a presentation about vehicle graphics without showcasing how easy it is to create a logo in CorelDRAW. That being said, I've chose to speed this part of the presentation up so that we can focus more on laying out the truck graphics. The name of this business is called Keep Strong Home Security. The icon is made up of a castle, which is also called a keep, a lock, and a shield, which represents strength and protection. Now I'm creating a new file where I plan on laying out the partial wrap design for this truck. Once the file has been created, I import a photo of the truck. In this case, I'll be using a photo from a third-party stock photo site. But in many cases, we simply take a photo in-house. The next step is to make sure the photo is to scale. I do this by taking a measurement between two points on the truck. Then I create a box between those two points. Next, I input the measurement I took on the actual truck. Once the box is actual size, I copy the scaled up percentage, select the photo, and paste that amount into the percentage field. And now the photo is at full scale. Here you can see the full scale box now fits between the two points on the truck. Next, I click on the tab of the file where I created the logo, and I copy that logo, then paste it in the file with the truck layout. Then, I want to create an empty power clip frame to create the partial wrap part of the graphics. There are many ways to create this shape, but I prefer the accuracy I get by using the freehand and shape tools. I've sped this part of the video up so that we can quickly move on to the next part of this walkthrough. I prefer to use the power clip function for projects like this so that I can lay out my design for production, but also create a nice looking sketch that I can show the client. Here I am turning the shape I just created into an empty power clip frame. Then I can enter the power clip frame so that I can lay out the rest of this partial wrap. Again, I'm simply using the freehand and shape tools to lay out this part of the graphic. I like to use the power clip function in this way so that everyone will be able to visualize the end product when I create my sketch. But I can also go into the power clip frame and grab the graphics I need for producing the actual wide format truck graphics. And because this will be a printed graphic, I can make sure excess material or a bleed is printed. I'm borrowing the shield shape from the logo so that I can create a repeating texture for the back section of the truck. This is an easy way to expand and enhance the brand we are trying to promote. Creating brand awareness is the number one goal for this vehicle advertisement. I simply use the duplicate function or control D to build this repeating texture. Next I position the repeating texture over the medium blue shape. A quick little tip for editing colors on the fly. If you select an object and while holding down the control key, left click on the color from the color palette, you will add a little bit of that color to the fill color of the shape you've selected. Here I'm using the power clip feature again. You can create power clips within power clips. Now it's time to add the web address using the text tool. Sign makers and vehicle wrap designers will love that you can filter fonts by style in CorelDRAW. It makes tracking down the perfect font for a job that much easier and is a huge time saver. Here I'm just tweaking the colors a little bit more. Now that I'm outside the power clip, you can start to visualize how the truck will end up looking. But I'm able to go into the power clip and make additional changes if I need to. Finally, I move the photo to the front layer. Then use the transparency tool and set the merge mode to multiply. This allows the lines and shading of the truck to appear over top of the graphics I created and gives the whole sketch a more realistic look. Thank you for watching this presentation.